Good morning, everyone. I am back with another vlog. It is Monday morning. It is bright and early, 4.30 in the morning. I have a personal trainer at five. It was really funny because I was just talking about in a previous video of mine, how I wanted to get a personal trainer because I um, don't feel like I'm as motivated at the gym. I don't have a personal trainer and I made it happen, which is so crazy. So I start today at 5 a.m. And we're starting off the day with the Celsius. This is my favorite Celsius ever. It is the watermelon and it's to die for. Um, I'm honestly shocked how awake I am for this time. I actually did not sleep last night for the life of me, so I'm really gonna need this. But if you're new here, hello, hi, my name is Taya, and welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. I post videos about lifestyle, fitness, and fashion, so if those sound interesting to you, make sure you go down below and subscribe. So. I'm going to get ready so I can leave, but hopefully you enjoyed this week in my life. I have not done movies in so long, like it's as long as I can remember, so I'm really excited for this week's vlog. We have a lot of great things. It's going to be a good day, a good week, so happy Monday. Woo! I'm about to head out the door, but before I leave, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys my outfit. My top and bottoms are both from Athleta, so I'm going to head to the gym, and I'll catch you guys after my workout. I just left the gym, and oh my goodness, you guys, highly, highly, highly recommend getting yourself a personal trainer. They are a bit pricey, so whether you can afford it highly would suggest you in that or finding like a friend who can do it who's like into working out and like has that education and like understanding and stuff and or like get a discount um but overall definitely recommend a personal trainer for multiple reasons first reason being you're more motivated second you're understanding the like weights and all the equipment and third if you're even doing it properly um so had a great experience loved it super excited i'm also so proud of myself because i told myself a few videos ago how i really wanted a personal trainer and i made that happen and i'm just so proud you live one life that's it so make it your life do things that make you happy, do things you've always wanted to do, get that personal trainer, go skydiving, like, do everything. Because when you're older and you look back and you said, you tell yourself, what did I do? You'll be happy that you did it. So, I'm now heading home. I am about to head out the door to go to the grocery store. But I first wanted to hop on and show you guys the fit for the day after I go ahead and brush my hair. Alrighty, so my top looks like this. It's just a ribbed top that has this like little cutout. Yes, I know, I do not have a bra on because all the sticky bras just decided it wasn't gonna work today. So, um, and it has this really cute cutout like I was saying, I love it. I think it looks, this kind of cutout looks really good on like my body type and then my shorts look like this. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Looks just like this. They are black and they are by Urban Outfitters. If you guys are interested, I'll leave them down below if you are. But we are about to go get some food. Is that you? Is that you? Are you so beautiful? Are you so beautiful? Yeah. I know. I know. Hi. Hi. Oh. Oh.
I am currently just cat setting for my next door neighbor's kitten. Piper, come here. You want to say hi to the vlog? Come here. Um, but after I visit with Piper for a little bit, then I am going to head to the grocery store. So, wanted to keep you guys in the loop. Who's a pretty boy? Who's a pretty boy? Oh! <laughs> Piper, do you want your toy? Piper. <gasps> That's what I thought. <gasps> it is so hot, you guys. My hair dried instantly as I walked out the door. Like, so hot. It is 90 degrees, but I think it feels like 100. It's crazy. So... Of course, because it's so hot, I'm treating myself to a Starbucks. I am currently in the Starbucks drive through line, about to get a little refresher before I get groceries. But I was so hot that my tank top literally was like, let's see if it's still there. No, it's not. I literally had like sweat on it, which TMI, I guess that's a little nasty, but I don't know how people live in like Florida during the summer or like Vegas or Arizona. Props to you, cause not me. Could I get a grande strawberry lemonade acai refresher with light ice please? Thank you. You guys, I'm so excited. I always get light ice due to Starbucks loves to put like 10 times the ice, less of the drink. Um, so always order it with light ice, little hack for you guys. But um, for my groceries, oh, I didn't even bring my notepad that says all of the groceries I need, so. Hopefully I don't forget anything while I'm out and about because if I do, I might be taking another trip. But I don't really have much I need this week. Um, just like fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. I'm thinking of going to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's today because I don't really need to go to Myers. Um, a friend of mine told me actually um so you guys know if you've been on my channel for quite some time i love the fairlife milk and my friend just messaged me the other day i will read you guys the dm um that she sent me it was quite crazy she sent me like this little link that says what happens at fairlife milk it's between two it's been two years since this video has gone viral. Um, it said in 2019, uncovered footage about animal abuse at a dairy farm that supplies the milk at Fairlife went viral, promoting many customers to boycott the unfilterized milk. Um, so pretty much Fairlife is abusing animals which is no bueno do not want to support that that is kind of why i'm trying to go more plant-based and stuff and kind of understand what i'm putting inside my body for this exact reasoning so thought that was crazy which i'm gonna need to find a different milk alternative then which good luck on me finding that because why I loved Fairlife so much was because of the flavor. It kind of tasted like vanilla, but I don't like almond milk, which is like vanilla. Um, so, I don't know. So if any of you guys watch my channel and you also use Fairlife milk, you can keep using it or you can stop using it. So, thought that was interesting. Um, but, with all that being said, I'm gonna need to find a new milk. I'm also going to need 
to figure out what I need to get grocery shopping since I forgot my list. And that's pretty much it. I was just sitting here for a second waiting in line for my drink. And I honestly don't know why I got a grande. I always get a venti refresher. But I think because it's like 3 o'clock. Yes, I know. I'm going grocery shopping really late. But I think because it's like 3 o'clock. I don't really need a venti. So we'll see how fast I drink this up. I cannot wait for fall, you guys. Like, this weather. I'm not a summer person. The only pro about summer is getting tan. But other than that, fall all the way. I love fall because of the leaves, the clothes. Just a new change, I feel like, is how I think of fall. So, so excited for fall, you guys. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, you too. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is so tiny. on my channel you know this is my favorite um i'm weird about my asparaguses and trader joe's always has me covered then i picked up a little snack which is some dried strawberries these are the best i've had them for as long as i can remember but they are so delicious if i'm ever craving something sweet that is what i go for then I picked up some gnocchi. This is just the tomato sauce one. And last but not least, I picked up a log of mozzarella. And the best part about this is it's already cut. Like, holla. Alrighty. Now on to Whole Foods. I first got a little salad for dinner tonight. Every time I get this, I feel like I'm like five years old because maybe I am five years old, but this is my favorite little smoothies to have. Um, they are the Stonyfield Organic Probiotic Smoothies in the flavor of strawberry. So pick that up for breakfasts. I then picked up a few bananas. I love getting like the greenest ones because bananas literally change so fast. So I picked that up. Love having those like in the morning right before going to work out. Um, so picked up a few of those. So excited you guys for this. This creamer is my favorite. It's a lot healthier. If you watched my one of my main vlogs um i found this creamer and loved it and i couldn't find it at home so i was getting a little worried that you could only buy it in new england i don't know but i found it today and you guys i was literally jumping for joy in the store i was that person but the creamer is the super creamer um and it is the flavor vanilla and it's the best it's healthy and it's also sweet so Two in one, baby. And then I have two more items. The first being this garden uh, plant-based ground beef. Just looks like this. And I love having this with like some jasmine rice 
or having this with like vegetables. It's just a great little lunch to have, um, quick and easy. You just put this on like a stove for like five minutes. Oh no, three to five minutes. Perfect. So super quick, super easy, really healthy. It has 18 grams of protein, 120 calories. It's gluten free and it only has two total fats, zero saturated fats, zero trans fats, zero cholesterol, a little bit high on the sodium with 360, seven carbohydrates, five grams of fiber, and less than one gram of sugar, and 18 proteins, obviously, like I said. So I picked up that, and lastly, I didn't need this, but looked so good, it was kind of pricey, $7.79 for this, and this is, um, smoked mozzarella pasta salad. Like, what? Like, look how yummy that looks. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I actually, I'm gonna grab a fork and try a bite while we're talking about it. Like, everything I could possibly want. Stop it. Oh my God. I just had a piece of mozzarella. Oh my goodness, you guys. It has a little kick to it though, like a spicy kick. But other than that, 10 out of 10. If you have a Whole Foods, go get some. Try it, let me know how you like it. Oh my gosh, guys. So, so good. All right, I'm now going to go ahead and put all of this away. in the Starbucks drive-thru because I forgot my list at home. I might forget something. I might have to go back out. Your girl forgot the most important item, which was salmon. Oh my goodness, I cannot believe I forgot the salmon. Literally, that was gonna be my meal tomorrow, but whatever, I'll go back out. Um, also, I took this back out of the fridge and having a few more bites. It is so good, you guys. Like, like uncontrollably good. I like don't have self control whatsoever, so I could, if I really wanted to, sit down and eat this whole thing, which we're not gonna do. But I cannot believe I forgot the most important item. Oh well. I'm going to make some kale chips, I think, now. But, had to come back on and tell you guys, because I knew it. I knew it! Ah! Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday. I just left the doctor's, and I got some laser hair removal done. Um, I think it is the perfect thing to do for yourself, and especially during the summertime. You don't want any hair in the armpits, no hair shown. So this was my third treatment and it went really well. Um, I will insert a clip after this. Um, but this morning went to the gym at 5 a.m., worked out, then had my appointment at eight and it is now 8.55 
and I'm going to go get a coffee and then go home. It's raining today, which is unfortunate. Um, I made myself some like eggs this morning, but I didn't have time to eat it, so I took it to go. And I low key for some reason love putting eggs in like my solo cup and like taking it to go. I feel like it just it's different. I don't know. Um, so had eggs this morning for breakfast, just two eggs, scrambled and stuff like that. So wanted to keep you guys in the loop. Um, even though it's raining, we're gonna have a good day. And I actually have more good news to tell you guys. It might be either the last video or the video before. I will link it on the screen for you guys so you can go check it out. I started a blog, but then I just also started another thing and that is I made a health Instagram so if you want to check that out you can it is just for me for fun like I'm not a licensed dietitian and I'm just doing it for fun but my Instagram name for my workout account is balanced by Tay because we're living a healthy lifestyle, balance. You're allowed to have some treats here and there. Um, just in proportion. Um, so it is just a health, wellness, and fitness little account. And this is what it looks like, if you can see it. But I already have one post kind of introducing myself and what the account's gonna be so um yeah i'm really excited for this um i feel like i have lots of new things i put on my plate for for me to work on got my delicious iced coffee I ordered a medium iced coffee with just um, butter pecan flavoring it is a summer flavor so good you guys um, and I'm really sad literally my hair sheds everywhere you guys um, but Oh no, this is like limited edition and I'm gonna miss it so much when summer comes to an end. But when summer comes to an end, um, Starbucks is fall nitro pumpkin cold brew um, will be available, so no stress. But got my coffee and I'm thinking about heading to Dick's Sporting Goods because I want to get some gloves for working out because I've been more into it and my personal trainer today was telling me how um, I should get some because it will help because I'm already getting like little calluses. So we're off to Dick's Sporting Goods.
I just came back from Dick's Sporting Goods and I really thought while I was there that I pressed record to show you guys what I purchased, but I guess I didn't press the record button, so I just got home and wanted to show you guys. I am so proud of myself, you guys. I thought I was going to go in and buy more than what I needed, but I told myself, no, 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 so I'm very happy that I came out with just the item that I went in there for, which is these weight lifting gloves. So I just picked this up and I'm really excited to use these for working out. They're really going to help since I'm already getting calluses from lifting weights. So just went ahead and picked this up. It was like 15 bucks, so not too shabby, but wanted to go ahead and show you guys this and I'm really happy with my purchase. It is seven o'clock, which means it's dinner time. So therefore, I'm having my salad that I purchased from Whole Foods, like I was talking about. So nice, simple, easy, healthy dinner. Um, so, alrighty, this is my dinner. For the base, I have spinach, blue cheese dressing, and then inside I have Carrots, mushrooms, feta cheese, corn, cucumbers, and I really thought I had meat, but I guess not, and artichoke um, little pieces. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Just made myself coffee. Started the morning by making my bed. As always, love waking up. First thing I do is make my bed, then come downstairs and make my coffee to get some fuel. I also unloaded the dishwasher from last night. I love running the dishwasher before heading to bed because and then when it's done, I open it and let it air dry all night. 
So then when I'm pulling out the dishes, they're not piping hot. So just did that and just kind of having a relaxing morning. It is 10 o'clock exact actually. And I hope you guys are all having a good week so far. We are in the middle of the week, halfway done. So that is good. Um, but just taking it slow this morning. Um, just in my PJs, nice and comfy cozy. So let's have a good day. This morning I unloaded the dishwasher, cleaned around the house, made some coffee, made my bed, all things like that. And now I'm about to head out the door to go to my personal trainer and do a little morning workout. It is at 11 a.m. and it's currently like 10.30, so I need to hurry up and show you guys my outfit so I'm not late. So my outfit just looks like this. My top is from Zara. I love wearing these tops because they fit perfectly and they cover a lot. So I'm actually gonna go pick some up tomorrow with a friend. I'm gonna go to Zara and pick up a few more of these ribbed white tank tops and pick some other colors up I think as well. And then my leggings are these maroon leggings and they are Lululemon aligns. I love working out in align leggings. Um, so this is just my fit, nice and simple. Um, nothing too crazy. I need to put my watch on and head out the door. So let's go get our work on on. I am out of my workout class. I started at 11 and it is now 2.30 and it was a really long session but it was really good like I'm so glad that I had that time to focus on that so that happened that took the majority of my day so um, that is that I am currently in the line of the gas station getting gas I have very low fuel i'm really hoping these cars hurry up because i have 13 miles left and that would be the worst if my car just like shut off and i had to push it but um that's pretty much my wednesday so far after i get gas i i'm gonna head home make some lunch because i am starving and then later on get ready because it is my best friend's birthday and later on tonight we're gonna go over to our friend's house and celebrate her birthday so it's gonna be an exciting night You guys, I hate getting gas. It's like so silly to me personally. Like I hate just wasting money on gas, but it's a privilege that I get to have a car to drive around place to place. So I really can't complain, but I just spent 31 bucks on gas, which is bonkers. Which it also doesn't help that my personal trainer I go and see like every day is literally in downtown Columbus which is a 25 minute drive so that obviously drains my gas so um yeah so there's definitely pros and cons to all of that but finished getting gas um my car I guess gets good mileage it gets 28.2 mpgs per i don't know what that means I'm not really a car guru so i don't know if that's good or not but i'm going to drive home and make some lunch so alrighty for lunch i am making a very simple lunch that includes this beef which is my favorite ground beef purchased it at whole foods um yesterday or no Monday um, and I just finished up a bag so now I'm going to open up a new bag 
I'm going to pair it with my favorite rice from Trader Joe's. It takes three minutes to cook because your girl does not know how to cook rice for the life of her. So this is what I'm having for lunch. And what I love about it is I literally just have to use one dish and one dish only. So it's an easy cleanup. And this meat takes like three to five minutes to cook. So super quick. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much my lunch for today. I'm gonna go ahead and just keep cooking. And here is the final lunch. Like I said, really simple and easy. All I did was microwaved the rice, cooked the meat, and voila. I just finished making a card for my friend and wanted to hop on and show you guys the card because I thought it was so cute like it has a little hot sauce on it and it says your hot stuff and I purchased it from Target Target has the best selections of cards hands down um, so just says hot stuff and then I wrote something and then this is like the signature of the card it says and you spice up my life happy birthday and it has like a little envelope so i'm going to put the card in there and her gifts already wrapped in the bag so um all i have to do is put this in the bag i hate licking the cards i think they taste so nasty, but... Makeup is all done. Now, on to the hair. All I'm doing is just straightening it because it's quick and easy. So, cue the time lapse. And voila, my hair is straightened. Like I said, really quick and easy for me to do that. Um, so, hair and makeup is now done. Now I'm just going to change out of my bathroom, which is unfortunate because I love wearing my bathrobe. Alrighty, my outfit for the evening. This is what it looks like. My tank top is 
green and it's ribbed and it is from H&M. My shorts are by the D D D G E I think brand or DSG or something along those lines. But they are from Urban Outfitters. I will link them down below if anyone wants to purchase them. We are good. I will see you guys all in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. I am in the car. I forgot my vlog camera, so here we are vlogging on my phone. But I'm in the car. Just got some coffee. Um, had an excellent time last night. Love hanging out with my best friend. Um, we always just have so much fun together. So, um, hung out, came home, and went to bed. So, now we are here, have a coffee. I got a vanilla iced coffee with light ice. Um, I'm not really a big fan of it, honestly. I think it doesn't really taste that good. So, that's a little unfortunate. I kind of salty about that but it's fine powering through it um but i am heading to pick up my friend and go to the mall he wants to go to zara to return some stuff and i want to go to zara to pick up more tank tops that i was talking about yesterday um i'm gonna pick up another white ribbed one as well as a few colored ones because I love basics they go with everything and Zara has really good prices like those tank tops are literally like five bucks so super good love them so that is currently what is happening after I stop driving I'll go ahead and show you guys my outfit now that I'm parked I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys my outfit I'm just wearing this pink Floyd shirt from Nordstrom's that I got at the Nordstrom anniversary sale and then my jeans just look like this they're light wash denim from Hollister or Abercrombie and then I just paired them with my white Converse so hopefully you saw that but that is my fit just got to my friend's house alrighty I left the mall no luck at Zara but we are now at Chipotle for lunch so I wanted to keep you guys in the loop and end up buying anything at the mall though. Alrighty, I am back home and I actually stopped at Target on my way home from dropping my friend off. Didn't end up having good luck at Zara. Couldn't find any pieces. Literally, they did not have the tank tops that I went in for at all. So I'm just going to go ahead and order some online. Um, so... I'm gonna do that after I show you guys my haul. Then we went to Chipotle just to get a little lunch and I stopped at Target and I wanted to show you guys what I ended up picking up. So the first item I picked up is this Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar bracelet that just looks like this. I am so obsessed. I've been looking for a bracelet like this for the longest time. It is two individuals and what I really like about it is that you can wear them like on its own or together obviously. So went ahead and picked that up. Next are the shoes. They're just like little heels and you guys they are so cute and so comfy. They just look like this and i am so obsessed i love the little heel it's like a tan like pinky tan color and it has this little like um snake skin on top or on the heel so i love that little touch of detail and next which i don't even know why i got a bathing suit because summer's almost over but um, I saw this and thought it was so cute, so I had to pick it up if I can figure out. Okay, here we go. So it crosses in the back, but it just looks like this. It has a big slit in the middle, so it shows your stomach, and um, the back just 
looks like that. And I don't know, it's really hard to see on camera, but um, it also has like this cute little tie detailing on the bottom. Um, but I will link it down below so you guys can see a better, um, see it better. So, or I might link it on the little screen too as well. But I will link everything that I mentioned in the video down in the comments so you guys have easy access if you want to purchase it. And then the last thing I picked up is a workout top since I've been working out like every day. Um, just looks like this. It's just a gray ribbed tank top. In the back looks like this. Love it. Just a little dark charcoal gray color. So went ahead and picked that up. And yeah, that's everything that I bought at Target. <laughs> I've ever got my nails done but just went with a classic white because I was gonna go with like multi colors like I did last time but wanted to be more professional just in case um, so just the classic white I almost got black but then I was like nah white it is so got white but left the nail salon and I am now back home I was gonna go run more errands but I low-key am not feeling it, so... Oh, you guys, it's raining, but I want to show you guys really quickly my outfit. This is my interview outfit. This dress is from Shein. My sneakers are from Walmart, Bag, Longchamp. And I'm going to get into the car before my hair gets all wet. But, happy Friday, everyone. I have an interview, and your girl is nervous. But got this dress like a week ago and I'm so obsessed I love the cut the square neckline so cute nervous I should not be this nervous oh good I have an umbrella back there okay but have an interview have my water um have my little um Resume like right here notes that I'm gonna write down. This is actually like my dad's That's why it says Cardinal Health on it, but I needed something professional um, I'm running a tad bit late guys. I'm literally Sweating I'm so nervous, but for jewelry totally forgot. This is a fossil bracelet I got literally I think on my 16th birthday never wear it though because I always wear my Apple watch but wearing my Apple watch wasn't very professional I have this little ring that my mom got me. It has like a little knot. Then my everyday jewelry. Normally I have my silver one here, but I have my Tiffany one here that I got for my 21st birthday. So that is jewelry. Earrings are, I totally forget the brand, but I got them from Nordstrom's. Love them. They are really thick, but they also feel like they weigh nothing, which I love. Um, so I wear these literally like all the time. I have it recently because I've been not going anywhere nice, but always my go-to hoops. You guys, oh my goodness, can you hear the rain? It's crazy. And I was supposed to walk around and like tour the whole like campus like setting. And I don't know if that's gonna happen anymore. So, oh my goodness, but I'm just finishing the last minute touches to my interview questions. I wanted to show you guys, look how bad it's raining. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so scared. No, so nervous. Okay. 
You guys, so nervous. I'm gonna call my dad real quick and ask him about this one question. It's downpouring. Really? Yeah, like, look. I don't think we're gonna do the outside thing anymore. But I wanted to call and ask you real quick, what was that question that you said that like, say I work that eight to 10 p.m. the next day, start to the sea? You get comp time. Comp time. Love you, thanks. Bye. Bye. Alrighty, always helps when I talk to my dad. So I'm gonna put this little pass there so I don't get towed. And I'll see you guys after the interview. Bye. <laughs> I am finally back home from my interview and now I'm gonna go ahead and take off my makeup and change out of my outfit and get into some comfy clothes. Interview, I think went okay, but We'll see in two weeks. I'll get an update on whether or not I'm going to go forward or not get the job. So I'll keep you guys posted. But till then, I'm going to change out of the fit and get into some comfy clothes. <laughs> some comfy clothes aka a bathrobe i live and breathe my bathrobe love it so much so cozy i put in a little claw clip from amazon it's just green and then i put on a little face mask as you guys saw the interview today took so much out of me i'm like exhausted it was an hour and a half walking around just kind of viewing the buildings and just kind of getting more of an in scoop of what the job's gonna be like and then we had like a 30 minute sit down and went in depth of like why i'd be great for the position and all of that kind of stuff so i'm now back home took off my makeup changed and now i'm wearing a face mask and we're just going to relax for the evening take it slow and your girl is just not used to interviews and walking around talking for an hour and a half and just that took a lot out of me but i'm really hoping i get the job so pray for me guys um but i'm going to relax let my face mask sit in <music> Alrighty, you guys, I am about to head to bed now. It is 
10 o'clock and I have my personal training tomorrow at 5 30 in the morning so I'm going to head to bed I just relaxed the rest of the evening you guys kind of saw my pamper routine I just did a face mask and things like that so I hope you guys enjoyed hanging out with me this week and enjoyed this week in my life vlog I have not done a week in my life vlog in like forever as long as I can remember so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you want me to do more Week in My Life vlogs, let me know down in the comments below. And I would gladly love to do it for you guys. But, like I said, it is 10 o'clock and I have to be up really early. So, I will see you guys all in my next video. Bye, everyone. Bye.